This video will document the build process of this Bluetooth speaker, featuring a 100 watt two channel amplifier and a battery pack for complete portability. Enjoy. Here's a quick overview of the plans I drew up. I salvaged the speaker drivers from a sealed bookshelf speaker, so I tried to match the interior volume as best I could. The overall dimensions come out to be 13 by 7 by 5 in inches. I'm using half inch plywood, so I accounted for the sides being about an inch shorter since I wanted the top and bottom pieces to overlap the sides. Alright, let's get cutting. I struggled a bit with the circular saw since I don't have too much experience on it yet. So to remedy any poor cuts, I used this trick where I clamped the two opposite pieces together and used a jigsaw and sander to make them as even as possible. Not the best way, but it worked. However, I didn't film it since I was angry my cuts weren't straight. Uh, and speaking of not filming, I also sanded both sides off camera. Here are the pieces laid out. I then glued the sides together. This is test fitting the front baffle. I went for an inlay type of design, which will become more apparent later in the video. And this is gluing on the back piece. The reason I cut it so oversized was because I liked the knot on the back and thought it could be a cool design element. The excess will be cut off with a flush trim bit. Here I am measuring and sketching the holes for the speakers on the front baffle. And this section of the video is the biggest fail I had throughout making this speaker. You can see the wood is just flaking right off. I definitely should have done the masking tape trick.
This is the making of the front grill, minus the grill cloth, which will come later in the video. I used my router to round over the edges, except for the front. I added some caulk to make sure that box was airtight. Now time to stain. I used mini wax stain and polyurethane mix in the Mission Oak color. I did a couple coats and went heavy because I wanted a glossier finish. Here the grill cloth is being added, and now the speaker is really starting to take form. Time for the electronics. I'm using this 12 volt battery pack, which is now the second one I bought. Not because it failed, but because I've used it in previous projects and it's worked out great. So I can link it in the description if any of you are interested. The battery includes a splitter and a charging cable so it can be completely portable or when it's plugged in, it can play music while it's being charged. For the amplifier, I'm using an 80 pin, not exactly sure how to say that, but it's Bluetooth 50 watt 2 channel and I'll link that in the description as well. Both products are on Amazon. Time to wire the speakers up. Pretty self-explanatory, just make sure not to wire out of phase.
and here's a quick test. I'm hot gluing the electronics in place. It's not the most professional look, but it gets the job done. Now just mounting the speakers up. And here is the speaker in working form. I added a couple finishing touches, like the handle, some rubber feet, and the knobs, which are just for show, but I think they look great. Some cinematic shots of the finished project. Now it's just time for a sound test. This project was very fun to make and I hope you enjoyed watching. If I gave you any ideas for your next project or have any suggestions, comment them down below. Also this is a new style of video with a voiceover so if you enjoyed it, give it a like. Or not.